and we're going to go to variable 43, and I'll be using the binary input number 2. 43. We're using binary input 2 because we're using the alarm card, which gives us the ability to hook up a 24 volt signal. From the connection standpoint, we have 4 to 20 going to the main board, and then the, the 13 volt signal going to the alarm board on binary input 2, right here. So right now it's set to off. What we're going to do is we're going to move this to up. And I'm, what this is instructing the position to do is when it receives the 13 volt signal or the binary input signal, it's going to go open. We're going to lock that in by holding the hand button. Turn that up. So with blue power, everything can function normally. So the close, the 4 million amps, wind travel. 20 milliamps is fully open. Now, if we turn on the binary input, you'll notice the screen changes. It says external input, and the unit went full open to 100%, as you can see on the downloads. Now, if we wanted to do the opposite, if we wanted to go to close, we can change that input. So that's the binary input off, and it goes back to loop power. But if we want to change this, we we'll go back to the setup window. And we can change this to down. Now it's going to fail close when that signal is set. Let's save it. Auto. So now when we turn the binary input on, it goes close. So now it goes full close and you get the external input. Right now, loop power can change and it's ignoring it because the binary input is activated. When I turn the binary input off, the power takes over and now I can control it.